Hi ladies, so I seen a few of you asking me how I made the little peppermint candies. So I thought I would do a quick little video to show you how I made them. And you're gonna need these little round Dollar Tree. You get two in a pack um, from the Dollar Tree and they're a dollar, so you get two of them for a dollar. You're gonna need these. I made 12 of these today and I'm still gonna make more because I found these at Hobby Lobby. I was just there two days ago and I only grabbed one pack and I wish I would have grabbed more because I know by the time I go back, they'll probably be gone. But if you go to Hobby Lobby, these were, uh, they're napkins. Uh, so they were over, you know, where all that stuff is. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one. Now it's got some black print on it, which you could fold down the side and then tuck it into, um, you know, that side with the print because you're gonna see it. So I would try to get it on the side if you, if you use those. Um, and then tuck that end into a wreath or just hide it. But I didn't use that end. So you wanted to separate these. So I'm just gonna pull them apart. And then I gotta carefully rip them just right here. All right, so you get, uh, there's two right here. And then you want to separate it more. So you just want that one little thin piece. Okay, so that part doesn't have the logo uh, little stamp on it, but I want this white part off it. So again, I'm gonna separate it. My hands have gotten super glue and paint so I just got this one thin piece. That's all you want. You don't want that little white backing on it, but I'm gonna save that because you can still kind of see it and then we can trace it with traceable paper. <laughs> Cause I tried to hand draw this and I suck. I can't shape that. So then I'm just gonna take my Mod Podge glue and I'm using this. I usually use the gloss, but I got matte. I just used all my, I have a full one somewhere and I can't find it, but I'm gonna take my Mod Podge and I'm going to just start the sides and Mod Podge all the way around your styrofoam. These are so easy. And you could stick a wood dowel or something in here if you don't wanna get glue all over you. Then go ahead, and I would blow dry um, when I was done, just a drying quicker, but I set each one on an individual paper plate to let them dry. And then I picked them up with a blow dryer and blue dryer. I'll just cover this with some Mod Podge. Okay, then I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this piece of thin um, napkin. I'm gonna kind of line it up. It doesn't line up that even because, you know, that should be directly in the middle, but it leaves one side short. So just try to line it up and then I just flatten it down. So I'm gonna pick it up. And I'm gonna go back over it again with my brush and Mod Podge. So I just put Mod Podge back over it. And then I just push those sides down and under. trying to come up with tons of candy so I can finish this house. And I I just happened to pick these up. I just thought they were cute and grabbed them. And then I was sitting here earlier this morning thinking, oh my God, I wonder if those would fit on those round styrofoam Dollar Tree discs. And they were bigger, but I need them to go down the side. So I was like, perfect. And I just put them on and started making them. But next year, I'll grab a whole bunch of those napkins because I'm sure they're gone. But you guys should check your stores because I just got these 
two days ago. My store was almost all gone. I couldn't believe it. All right, and then just flatten it down. Now, like I said, I let it dry because I set this down in that bottom, you know, the parts you flip down were sticking to the this uh, paper plate. Uh, so I kind of hit it with some glue. All right, but before you do that, oops, I, I forgot a step. I take this glitter. It's just extra fine diamond glitter from Hobby Lobby. It's just extra fine diamond glitter. And I got this from Hobby Lobby. And then I only open like one little hole. I don't even do the sprinkle. I just open up one little hole. And I kind of hold it sideways and just try to get the sides with the glitter. And then the top. And then you just let it dry. And when it's dry, you got yourself a little peppermint candy. Isn't that so cute and easy? All right, I just want to show you girls because, you know, I didn't know how to do it until I did it. <laughs> All right, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Oh, I want to show you one more thing. You guys, look what I found at Costco's. They came in 12, um, and some of them are different colors, but they're little ornaments. I was like, oh, my God. And then when I got home, I was like, these are kind of heavy. Each, um, there's 12 of them for 12 days, and each one's got a different flavor of hot cocoa in it. Isn't that so cute? I hung some on the tree. All right. I just want to show you that. I think that's all I want to show you. All right. Have a good night. Bye.